Another month, another interest rate hike, with rates now the highest they've been since 2008. Borrowers now likely to pull back on major purchases. Homes are going to be increasingly uh, more so out of reach as mortgage rates rise, uh, car loans rise, uh, student loans, credit card rates. The Federal Reserve today continuing a risky tightrope walk, making money harder to get without killing further growth. It's very, very difficult. Uh, the goal is to raise interest rates and slow things down, but at the same time, without doing it so aggressively that it throws the economy into a recession. Most economists agree it's a necessary step, but it's painful. A slower economy means fewer jobs, and current record low unemployment figures may soon start rising. Just like if you're sick, you need to take your medicine. You don't want to take your medicine. You don't want to be unemployed. I certainly don't want to be unemployed. But if you don't, things can be significantly worse later on. Still, there's no guarantee this rate hike will work. It'll slow the economy, but other outside factors could keep inflation rates stubbornly high. We still have the lingering effects of the pandemic, uh, along with the associated supply chain disruptions. We have the war in uh, Ukraine, uh, and we have people who for a couple of years stayed out of the labor force but are now uh, looking to enter. For consumers, a rate hike is a call to control their debt, pay off their loans and their credit cards, and those on the market for major investments may want to act quickly as more rate hikes could be on the horizon. If you're thinking about buying a house, buying a car, and you're wanting to wait, uh, thinking interest rates might come down, uh, there's no crystal ball, but it's likely that that is not going to be the case for the next few years. Ethan Kibbe, Erie News Now.